Hello and welcome to BMW. Today we're celebrating what is arguably one of the most famous letters in the automotive industry, BMW M. This division of BMW has been modifying and tuning cars for decades and in 2022 are celebrating 50 years. We thought it was a good idea to get some of the most exciting models in the BMW M range together. BMW M was created to increase BMW's competitiveness in motorsport with rivals dominating the sport. The first road going model was the BMW 3 litre CSL with a detachable rear wing designed for attaching when racing and removing when driving on the road. But many enthusiasts didn't remove the wing. Following this, the M1 was launched, a full on supercar built from scratch which quickly became one of the most desirable cars to come out of Germany. Then the car which made M famous arrived, the first M3. Since then, there have been countless M models which appeal to every kind of motor enthusiast. These have helped the development of the division and lead to today's lineup, which consists of coupes, saloons, estates, and SUV models, as well as the recently announced M2 and M3 Touring. Let's take a look at some of the M range highlights. The M model lineup starts with the M135i, which is behind me here. This is a five door hatchback with a two litre engine producing 301 brake horsepower. It replaces the very popular M140, which went before it. The powerful engine, combined with the eight-speed standard automatic gearbox and four-wheel drive, allow the M135i to accelerate from zero to 62 miles per hour in 4.8 seconds. The engine also weighs 32 kilograms less than the old six-cylinder engine, which helps give the M135i a more agile feel and helps save petrol. When driving normally, the M135i is predominantly front-wheel drive. But put your foot down and within milliseconds the power is split 50-50 with the front and rear wheels. This combined with a limited slip torsion differential helps give outstanding traction. The M135i has a range of upgrades over the regular one series including stiffer engine mounts, anti-roll bars and suspension components. Completing the driving experience is the augmented sound pumped into the cabin as well as the sporty exhaust track from the exhaust when you put it into sport mode. Yet, despite the performance of the M135i, it's just like any other one series inside, with a large boot of 380 litres, space for five, and a premium interior. There are two 10.3 inch digital displays, one in front of the driver, and one central touchscreen, which can also be operated by voice and by the rotary controller. But what are your options if you want the full M Sport experience? Behind me is the all new BMW M4. It's the two door coupe version of the BMW M3 saloon. But why choose the M4? Well, the BMW M4 has divisive styling just like the M3, but personally I love the way it looks. It combines aggressive M styling with smooth coupe lines and a low stance. Plus, it still features a large boot and space for two adults in the rear. The M4 makes a statement. Under the bonnet is a brand new 3 litre inline 6 engine with 510 brake horsepower, which allows the M4 to accelerate from 0 to 62 in 3.9 seconds. The engine is packed with technology such as twin turbochargers, indirect intercooler and electronic wastegate to help the turbos spin up faster for a more responsive drive. The core of the cylinder head has also been 3D printed, allowing forms that wouldn't be possible with conventional techniques. Plus, it sounds great. All BMW M4s come with a carbon fibre roof to keep weight down and the central gravity lower to make the driving experience more enjoyable. This M4 has the optional carbon fibre upgrade and also the M Sport exhaust, which adds to the drama. Key to the driving experience of the M4 and all M models is the amount of configurability and different settings there are to control every aspect of the car, from the engine responsiveness to the suspension and the sound. The M4 has two shortcuts on the steering wheel which let you access your preset saved modes. The M4 starts off in comfort mode, which as the name suggests gives a comfortable daily ride but put the M4 into sport or track mode and the whole thing sharpens up. As part of the M4's configurability, the dynamic stability control has 10 stages, or you can put it in M mode, which provides a great balance between traction and fun. 
The technology incorporated into the engine pays off when driving, a responsive and engaged feel which provides a relentless driving experience. The electronic differential allows the driver to exploit the power whilst also protecting you and providing ultimate traction. This combined with the rigid structure gives a fantastic connection to the road and makes the M4 feel pure. As a result of this, the M4 is a car that builds confidence very quickly. We're not just celebrating the last 50 years of BMW M Sport, what does the next 50 years look like as well? Currently, there is two electric BMW M Sport models, the i4 behind me and the BMW iX. These models and concepts such as the BMW Vision M Next hint at the future. BMW is determined to ensure their electric M models are just as exciting and immersive as those powered by fossil fuels. Plus, with instant access to 100% of the electric motors torque, these electric M cars provide a unique feel with a feeling of never-ending power. The i4 can accelerate from 0 to 62 in 3.9 seconds. No matter which direction BMW M takes going forwards, looking back at the last 50 years, it's clear to see we're guaranteed cars built for enthusiasts that are immersive and exciting to drive. To learn more about BMW M or to experience the cars for yourself, head over to the website to book a test drive or visit your local BMW Inchcape site.